Aloha everybody, Mike Drutar, Principal Broker, Next Home Paradise Realty, and today we are up at the bottom of Coloco Malka on a three acre lot. There's a quick peek of what we're going to see at the view. It gets even better when we get over there to the house and checking out the pool. Uh, but want to do a quick pan around so that you can see, you have your nice long palm treed driveway all kinds of trees you can grow all the food you could possibly eat out here three acres at this elevation is great uh, but they also have like the main part of the house fenced in so if you got uh, pups you got a nice little spot for them i'm gonna show you the outside of the house the inside tell you my three favorite things and the one thing i would change or add if it was mine this is listed by Sonia Schmidt over at EXP. Big thanks to her for letting us bring this to you. Starting off, we got board and batten on the exterior. We got blue with the horizontal masonite down below. Very common style that we see out here, that plantation look. We have a metal roof. That's really good. You do get some rain up here at this elevation. You're at, I can check for sure, and I'll put it down here in the link or down in the bottom of the thing now. I'm going to estimate it's around 2,000 feet, give or take. And uh, yeah, really nice inside. I did a quick walk around through there. Let's check out here real quick. We got a nice oversized two car garage. You can tell how you got definitely plenty of space in there. Some shelving around the side, extra refrigerator, solar hot water heater, service door going out or going into the main part of the house. You got a spot here to back up. So after you pull in, you back in there and you can drive right out your nice long driveway. You got a fence at the end or a gate at the end of that driveway. Plenty of space to park an extra vehicle or two over here. A trailer. Like for me, I would have like a little trailer because you might want to haul some uh, stuff off to the landfill every once in a while with three acres and things growing, uh, trees and stuff like that. You could have a pretty nice little farm out here, guys. Oh, and they got it all fenced off down there too. And you can see we got our fence here. Oh, wow. So we knew we had solar hot water, right? Because we saw that heater, but then we got, let's see, one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 times three, so what's that? 39 solar panels and plus another one at the end. So 40 solar panels, that's legit, guys. You can see a little bit more of that view. Not doing a good job keeping it secret for you. Um, so 40 solar panels, that's going to really uh, take up a lot of your electric car. I can't, I mean, you never know. I always say houses don't use electricity, people do. It really depends on your lifestyle. You got someone who's on the computer and has a few servers and you know has an electric vehicle or depending on how much they run the AC and how much they watch TV it can vary a lot. How many, how much electricity do people use? How many people are in the home? But I will say 40 solar electric photovoltaic panels at this elevation where you're not going to have an air conditioner. There's no need. Um, I can't imagine you uh, ever having much of an electric bill. All right, let's walk inside the front door. Got a nice little tile entryway, 18 by 18 tile. And I like this nice little etched pineapple that we got right in here so that's really cool and then we come here into the main part of the house we switch our flooring to this nice wood floor looks great right into the living room standard slider going outside to check out that view dining room and kitchen over to the side plenty of space it's nice and open in here even as you walk down the hallway Primary bedroom is on that side. We got two other bedrooms on this side. Let's check these out real quick. We are on caravan. There are a few people walking around. We want to give them their space and keep ours. Nice two panel style door. I like it. Looks really good. And then I would say this is bedroom number two. And I would call it bedroom number two because it does have the slider going out and a little bit of the view. We got some color down here on the carpet. Let's get down real quick and check it out. You got a design in there as well. It's kind of a seafoam green. Not sure if it's coming out on camera. And you got a light seafoam green color over here on the walls uh, of this room. Looks like we got a, yeah, queen size bed. Plenty of space. 
queen size is right for this room. If you fit a king in, you'd have to lose one of the end tables. Give yourself a little bit more room, and then we have our closet over here on the side. Then we stop doing the carpet. We go back to our wood down here into our common bathroom. Pretty standard bathroom. We have a nice granite countertop over here down at the end. And then a toilet and a shower. Nice glass door, solid. Uh, looks really good. Um, it's thick. Sometimes these glass doors that you have to watch on these showers are thin and they're just not quite as high of a quality. That one's good though. Closet over here on the side. And then down bedroom number, so this bedroom is actually larger. Let's call this bedroom number three. Um, it's bigger than bedroom number two, but I, I, I like having that view that you have over there in bedroom number two. I think that's really important. Larger closet, definitely a lot more space. We've got that same carpet and the same color all around. You could fit a king size bed in here, no problem. And then back out to the main section of the house. Plenty of space here. You can set this up a couple different ways, but I think the way they have it going is right. Some people will put a sectional in here, uh, but you have a lot of room is the main thing. A lot of room here in this living room to do whatever you want. I like that you have a lot of space over there. Sometimes things just get closed off. People design it to where things get a little bit too compartmentalized. And it doesn't feel open. They did a good job on this one. Plenty of space over here for your dining room table. And we got our nice light fixture with our stained glass. It's a nice look, kind of that Tiffany style. We've got blue pendant lights over here. We had vaulted ceilings. I should have pointed that out. Vaulted ceilings over here in the living room. And then we have this uh, wedding cake design with it stepping up over here in the kitchen. We're sticking with that seafoam green kind of color on the walls, and that's also reflecting off here in our granite countertops, as you can see. We got a nice oversized white refrigerator that's a Kenmore side by side with your freezer down below. And coming over here, a real good size pantry door, or pantry. <laughs> it's the pantry door because the door says pantry, in case you didn't know. So plenty of space for food storage. Lots of working space over here on the countertops. Looks like we got 46 inch upper cabinet, so we did upgrade on that, it looks like. And we are, I wasn't sure here, guys, but dovetail joints and soft clothes. Lots of space in here. Pretty good. So we've got white on all of our, we got white on our dishwasher over here, as well as white on our stove and our microwave. Uh, and then as you're here, in the working part of the kitchen, you got the view out. I think that might be coming out on camera a little bit. And you're still connected over here to the living room. So really great on that. Let's check out the primary bedroom, which is really done well in our last bedroom. Then we'll get outside, check out the pool and the view for you guys. King size bed, you could fit a second king size bed in here, guys. It's so big. There's so much room. Uh, I like this carpet a lot better than we had on our other one. It's got some design to it, but it's a, uh, a beige. Looks really good. We got our recessed light ceiling fan, ceiling treatment there as well. Baseboards, plenty of room for furniture, slider, lots of light coming in. You can take in that view. Yeah, it's coming through pretty well there. Yeah, and you can put more furniture over here. I mean, you got so much space in this place. And then coming in here to the bathroom, Nice little display set that you have right there. That's a little unique. We don't see that a ton. And then dual vanity sink. Nice green color. They like the green a lot, so you have to like the green because it's really built in here. Um, green color that we have over here on our countertops. Nice big window. Also on our tile over here to the side. Not trying to spin around too fast for you guys. Good size closet. Some people might want to close this off. I like how they kept it nice and open. And then we have our etched glass over here at our shower, 18 by 18 tiles um, with definitely a green tone to that tile mosaic on the bottom, zero threshold entry into that shower. We'll walk straight in, or if you're on a wheeled device, you can get straight in that way as well. And a pocket door over here to the toilet and that closes out 
the primary bedroom. Then we'll look around real quick. Spin around. Let's see if we get this gimbal working. Oh, I got a new gimbal. I think I got the color right on this one. The last one, it was a little bit off. Coming back over towards the front door. So we got our front door right over there. Oh, right over there. <laughs> and then, here we are. With our utility, so that was that service door going out to the garage, washer and dryer, plenty of working space, pretty unique uh, granite right there. And then bedroom number four, I call this bedroom number four, uh, just because I think it's more of an office. You can see how they have it set up there. Uh, but you can use it as a bedroom. They have it being used as a sewing room. But if you want to remove this stuff, these built-ins over here, and make this a bedroom, you could. But it's really a pretty good flex space. So good job on that. And then, of course, a bathroom. Is it a powder room? Yep, powder room over here. Nice sink. All right, let's go out and check out that view. I know you guys are wanting to see that. You're going to see some folks out here. They're doing an uh, open house realtor's caravan. You are going to like it out here because it's not just the pool that makes this so good, but we have a ton of space. So check out our covered planai and how huge this thing is. The grill and refrigerator set up over there. There's that slider that comes in from what we call bedroom number two. So a ton of space. You can put an outdoor pool table here. You can set up multiple seating areas. And of course we have our nice pool with our colored plastered flagstone deck. Looks like they're placing a light right now. We've got our pool cleaner in there. But the view, holy cow. So got like Kona Airport over there. And then going across Honokohau National Park and Harbor. Looks great. You can even, beyond the trees, get some ocean view over here. They really built this up and out. So, I mean, you sit quite prominently out on this hill. Um, excellent, excellent job on here. Wow, you're really, really up above it all. That's a pretty spectacular view, guys. Um, I mean, you'll have some trees growing, but there's no buildings that are gonna come into your view there. And again, we got three acres. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a fence line right over here. So a big piece of this land that you see over to the side, uh, I believe is yours as well. But we can confirm that, it could be on the other side. We'll have to look at the survey. Of course, you got all this area here. We're fenced in with the chain link fence over here. So if you do have dogs, um, they'll be set. They have somewhere to go and it won't take up too much space in your acreage. You know what, actually, I don't know if that area behind me is part of your three acres. I think it's just all this over there. Um, there we go, all that over there. So pretty nice job on this one. All right, my three favorite things and the one thing I would change or add if this was mine. Th favorite thing number one is gonna be the view here. Really is good. You know, you get up Coloco very much and you're, a lot of your views are, they go away, they're real pocketed. Uh, because there's so many tall, you know, 40, 60 foot trees out here. Having a view this good in Coloco is pretty rare. So the view is going to be number one. Number two is going to be the acreage. A lot of people, you know, they want some space. They want privacy. They don't want to see their neighbors. If that's you, then, you know, this is a pretty interesting offering because you do got a lot of space. You know, it takes some work. You might want to have some, I don't know, some goats or something out there to help keep it down or a really big riding lawnmower in a little bit of time. Uh, to get that done, but the acreage is going to be number two. Um, my third favorite thing, you know, it's actually going to be this primary bedroom. Uh, I really like the size of it and the layout. Um, you know, for the owners, it's going to be pretty nice. Uh, you have, we got about 2,600 square foot in this house, and a lot of it's here in the primary. So, you know, I sell a lot of homes to people who are moving over. Uh, who want the space, but most of the time it's just two people. And so having a lot of square footage dedicated to bedroom number three and four doesn't make a lot of sense for them because those folks won't be here so often. So use the square footage where you are as an owner. And so having it as uh, the primary is really good. The one thing I would change or add if this was mine, 
That one, um, well, I, I would say that I, I'm just not as much of a fan of uh, non-neutral colors on carpets. And so those two bedrooms that had that seafoam green carpet, I would change that out. That's pretty cheap. No big deal there at all. Um, and then still you got all this space, this nice long driveway, the palm trees, the view. Uh, doing pretty good at this one. All right, I hope you guys like it. I got more for you in the corner. See you again real soon.